여자친구야 Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jennifer Ngumalo and on this channel we do a lot of financial, personal finance content, also lifestyle content and sometimes we do career talk. So today I'm actually bringing you a video regarding one of my personal investments and that is with Frank but what I'm investing on is actually an emergency fund. So I'm just gonna go straight to the point because this is an update video. It's not a video where I'm showing you how to invest with Frank because I've done that video before. You can check it out on my channel. I'm actually gonna link it down below. That's where you can you can actually watch Watch that video just so that you can learn and be familiar with Frank however on this video I'm not actually teaching you or I'm not talking about how you can invest with Frank but I'm actually doing an update because when I did that video I promised that after every four to six months I'm actually gonna come back and give you an update of how I'm going am I still sticking to my plan how is it going and all that good stuff and so it is time we are due for that because it's been six months since I started investing with Frank before we get into the update of how it's going with Frank I think it will be wise of me or it will be good of me to actually start first give you a background on what I'm saving on when did I start and all that good stuff before I get into how far is it going you know especially for people that are finding my channel for the first time today or maybe they never watched that previous video before but i will suggest that you actually watch that video because it will give you a good idea of frank as an investing platform and also how i went about it and why did i choose to go with frank now with that being said when did i start investing with frank or when did i yeah when did i start investing with frank i started investing with frank in november last year and that is 2021 in november i decided that you know what it was the time for me to start investing however i had not opened my account in november i opened my account very early on started learning about the app and then in november i decided that it was the time for me to actually start investing so what is my goal why am i saving or why am i investing with frank because that is also very important that whenever you are investing whenever you are saving that you attach a goal to it because that allows you to stay consistent it limits the possibilities of you stopping because when you have a goal and you haven't reached a goal you keep working on that goal until you reach it and so for me what is this goal why am i saving with frank now under the frank app there are many goals that they will give you but for me i chose to save my emergency fund with them and that is because i didn't just want to put my invest emergency fund on a savings account i didn't want to do that and that is because savings account don't have a lot of interest rate over and above the issue of the interest rate for me i feel like the whole i don't know how to explain this without coming off as i'm um, being a financial advisor by the way this video does not constitute as financial advice this isn't my update on how things are going with my investment with Frank. That whole time has shifted where emergency fund was said to be this money that you save in an, in a savings account where it's easily accessible. And then if it's easily accessible, that means that you can withdraw it anytime because you may never know when you need it. The time has gone and passed. And that is because of the high inflation rate, the standard of living increasing to a point whereby you realize that your money every time it's sitting in a savings account where there isn't a lot of interest rate like it's sitting in an in a savings account of four percent three percent you are actually losing a lot of money the initial money that you're saving there and so to avoid that where your money does not lose value fast but instead gains value or it gains value as the inflation goes up because here's the thing as much as your money may be gaining value depending on where you are investing it also the inflation is going up so you want to make sure that it is in line with inflation or even more than an inflation so that is why for me I'm saying that time where you save your invest your emergency fund in a savings account has gone and passed it has gone and passed maybe back then it made sense right now it doesn't make sense to take your emergency fund and put in a 
normal savings account because you are going to be losing money each and every day you are keeping money in there because let me give you an example you will put in 500 rands today and you say this is for my emergency down the line in in the next 12 months you want to use the 500 rands let's say for instance it's for a medical emergency and then they tell you that no for a consultation it's no longer 400 but it's 600 now what do you have to do you have to cut now start thinking where else am i gonna get that 100 rands to, to add on this money that i have now when you are saving you are thinking that this is going to be enough but you did not take into account the inflation i wouldn't even put my emergency fund in uh what are, what are these things fixed deposits because they don't have a lot of interest rates like that interest rate ends around four percent five percent and it doesn't go above that and so for me I didn't want to do that but how i decided that i'm going to do it is i will keep a small percentage of my emergency fund the day that i reach my first target so my target is thirty thousand. so when i went there on the app i said okay my target is to have thirty thousand of my emergency fund now this is the initial target and then they broke it down in terms of how much am i going to be paying monthly and it was one it is 1210 however when i started in november i started with a thousand grand and that is because i didn't have 1200 but i was like i'm not gonna wait until i have the entire sum of 1200 in order for me to start investing or saving towards my emergency fund but i'm gonna save what i have and that is why i started with a thousand so in november i started with a thousand then in december i then started doing the 1210 and in december i decided to actually do a stop order and since then that stop order has been running every time when i get paid 1210 is taken away from my is debited from my account into my investment with frank and so that is how how i, I actually structured it now before we get into how much i have right now and how is it going in terms of interest i think i'm gonna also touch on this remember i just said that thirty thousand for me is my initial investment and the reason why i'm saying it's my initial investment is because if i'm just being honest evaluating my lifestyle auditing my lifestyle and the things that i pay for on a monthly basis and my salary thirty thousand is nothing 30,000 is nothing because an emergency fund is supposed to be a three to uh, three to six months of your living expenses. Now, I know that not everything has to be an emergency fund. Not everything has to be your living expenses. But my school, school my child's school fees, my rates and levies, lights, water and electricity here, my bond repayment, my food, and also being able to still you know live a decent life for me those are essentials so when i calculated all of those things thirty thousand is not enough to last me three to last me even three months it's not enough so what i've decided to do is i will set a, i wanted to set an initial target and the reason why i set a lower target is because i didn't want to feel overwhelmed that is why i went with thirty thousand but as soon as i reach the thirty thousand what i'll do is i will take the thirty thousand like okay first i will take the five thousand of that thirty thousand put on a savings account now a normal savings account but that has high interest and i think that if you have watched my videos enough you know where i will put that like there's only one bank for me that gives the best interest rate right now and i know that with a time as time goes on it's going to even go back it's go it's gonna get even better so i will take my five that five thousand and put into that savings account just so that i have that image and that money there or I'll take about 2.5, you know, just take 2.5 and put it in there. And then the rest, I'm going to take the chunk and put under, under, I'll put under easy equities. Now, easy equities, that's where I can actually decide which shares am I going to invest in. But however, even with easy equities, I'll be very strategic on where I put my money in. I'm not going to put in a place that is highly volatile, you know, but I want to make sure that where I put it in, it grows over time and it doesn't get affected. Like it grows as the inflation is going up, it also grows up. It also not grows up, but it also multiplies, you know so that is my plan and then i'm not gonna stop 
after I've reached the 30, yes, I will move the 30,000 out. And then I'm going to start from scratch now, do another 30 grand again. And then that 30 grand, I'm going to start working on it. And I'm going to continue saving the same amount, if not more, maybe I will increase it depending on my living expenses at that time. And also my salary, I might make it more or I might keep it the same. But what I'm saying is I'm going to take out the 30 grand, put it somewhere else and start another 30 grand to a point whereby I I feel like my what to a point whereby I feel like my emergency fund is over at least it must be over 90 grand it must be over 90 grand that is when I can say you know what for my emergency fund I'm well taken care of and not that I'm saying that 90 grand is you know it's 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 not, it's a lot if i'm being honest 90 grand, 90 grand as an emergency fund is a lot however because when i'm thinking emergency fund i'm not thinking of just the money that i'm gonna use just in case shit hits the fan but it's money that i know that is security for me and also investment that is why I'm not putting my emergency fund on savings because if it was savings, it would be stupid of me to take about 60 or 30 grand and put in a savings account for a long time. It would be very stupid of me. And so that is why for me, if I say 90 grand, like I would like to reach 90 grand at a certain point in my life, I know that that's not just for emergencies only, but it's also my net worth. It, it contributes to my, my network, net, net worth. It contributes to my wealth. It also contributes to my investments because half of that would be for my investments and half of that would be for my emergencies. But then I will know that my emergency fund is in investment rather than savings. So that is my idea when I'm thinking of an emergency fund. Now I know that it's different for everyone. That is why I don't want to impose my ideas, my ideologies to you guys, but I just, I'm just sharing my, my thought behind the decisions that I'm taking regarding my investment or my finances. So how is it going with Frank? I think that is the last point that we're going to talk about on this video. And as I said, I started in November and when I started in November, I just started with, I started with only, I'm looking at my phone, by the way, when I started in November, I started with a thousand. And then after that, I did the normal one, which is 1,200. Now I'm just going to show you the screen right now. I'm just, I just want to make sure that none of my personal information is showing. I'm going to do a screenshot of this once I'm done shooting the video, because the moment I stop, I, sh I screenshot this, like I do a video of my screenshot. It's actually going to affect the audio because I record my audio on the phone. So I will do that when I'm done. So here's how far we've went. Roughly, we have over 7,000. Roughly, we have over 7,000 that I've saved. And that is from November. Ne? So, and then I'm supposed to have 30,000 by November, 2023. Now we are on 2022. So next year I should reach next year, November, I should reach my 30,000 goal, but I would love to reach it quicker than that. But I don't want to stress myself as well. The most important thing about saving and investing guys is that you do it monthly. It's not a sprint, rather a marathon. It's something that you do slowly. You know, you take your time, you pay yourself you don't rush it you know so that you don't feel overwhelmed and you don't quit along the way so that is why for me if if they say that I'm going to reach this goal by 2023 November I'm fine with that if it happens that I have extra cash that does not have to be allocated anywhere else then I'll put it here but with everything that I'm doing right now with every with all my responsibilities putting more money right now on my emergency fund is not a priority not a priority at all at all at all so what i also wanted to show you is that on i split my investment into two if you re, if you have watched my previous video on frank you understand that i split it into two the first one was the money market and then the other one basically is the cash fund but it's the money market and then the other one is equity details is equity fund so the money market in terms of my interest that I've gained so far, let me just put there. Let me close my face. Oh, I don't know. You're seeing my nails. Ne? I'm going to put a screen here and this one doesn't go with how the market is going. It's just, 
it's very slow when it comes to interest rates here it's very slow but i realized that the more money that you put in there the more interest that you gain and then uh for the equity fund it hasn't been going very well let me just okay for the equity fund performance why are they not giving me the percentage let me just get out of here and come back again let's see let's log in and see what it gives me in terms of the interest on e on the equity fund but it's not a lot because the equity fund is highly determined by the market and it's highly volatile as well so when the market goes down it also goes down when the market goes up it also goes up like yesterday i was on a red because the market was down and then today i'm on a green because the market went up i don't know what's happening but it seems like the network is very slow but i will do a screenshot and just put it in here i think you guys have got an idea of how, how is it going with my investment with frank and you know what i feel that it's been going well i've been very disciplined and because it's a stop order it's a nice thing because it's something that i don't even have to think about some Something that just goes out from my bank account however i still budget for it every month but the nice thing is that i don't have to do the admin of having to send the money in there because sometimes when life happens you might not want to do that i know myself i might not want to actually transfer that money and so i'm just i'm i'm happy with my progress i'm happy the fact i'm happy with the fact that i've been sticking to my plan and my goal is to reach that thirty thousand by next year and then when you reach that goal as i've shared before i have plans and then i'll start the whole process again but with that being said thank you so much for actually watching this video and actually being interested in actually my finances and i'm hoping that it inspires you as well that if you don't have an emergency fund as yet because i feel like an emergency fund is the most important thing that you can have outside of ins the many insurances that we have it's just the best thing that you can do for yourself and your finances and your peace of mind so it's one thing that i feel like every person should have because it sways you away from debt however please do know that my videos don't constitute as financial advice if you're looking for financial advice please go with someone that is that is actually satisfied certified with the fsca uh, or go to your bank if it, well the bank is, is certified with fsca go to your bank and seek financial advice there that is the safest place you can go to and yeah man because these videos don't constitute a financial advice they're just me sharing my own journey and my story with hopes that it will inspire you to also take positive steps towards your finances with that being said please take care and stay safe until i see you on the next one no, I'm not happy. I can make you happy